where you look at, um, you know, LeBron and, you know, anybody he sort of picks with him <laughs> to be, <laughs> but, you know, playing with so many guys, he's the guy who has um, led the charge in terms of super teams being put together. Yeah. You know, when he put together a team in Miami, he put, he mm-hmm. basically put the team together in Cleveland as well and put together a team in Los Angeles or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he could pick his own team. I ain't gonna pick. I ain't gonna pick his team. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad about LeBron. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking. I'm not saying LeBron would argue because I know he he would probably come back to me, but he will argue that these these super teams always existed. If you look at all the championship teams, they've always had two, three, or even sometimes four all stars. Players weren't picking their own teams. Like when uh, Kareem got you know traded for four players from Milwaukee to Los Angeles. That was management's deal. That wasn't that wasn't his deal. And uh, you know, when he and Magic and Worthy got together, hey, they, they got together because they traded for Kareem, they drafted Magic the next year, they already had Worthy, Paul Wilkes, or whatever. So, you know, so they were a super team and you know, when we swept them in eighty three though, they yeah. <laughs> 